CTR shift W. We're gonna allow that. Sometimes the shortcut keys don't work with this video recorder on because it gives like so much problems. So I, I sometimes don't use the shortcut keys for these things right here, I would say. Do I extrude H? H, CTRL. Just too much of a long reach. Or I can just go into the model window. Construct. I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to go extrude and down and hold down CTRL for extrude down and just just extrude that down right about there. Just like that, and target weld. And that's already selected.
moved in now. I'm gonna go into here. And I'm just gonna go extrude. And then I'm just gonna go in here and go extrude. I hold down CTRL. Go right click move like that. Go extrude, CTRL like this. Go into here, go extrude, CTRL. Extrude. Right click move. like that and just go into here weld I, I mean this is taking a long time but this is not even a, a very advanced software so you can't blame this software for taking a long time. I mean, it's not as advanced as Cinema 4D, definitely for sure, and it's not even advanced as Maya, I would say. But it still gets the job done, if you know what you're doing with this software. And then we're just going to go CTR Extrude right here. Actually move. Gonna go in here, wound.
gonna go extrude. Gonna go extrude. Actually, go extrude. CTRL. So that's what I did so far, and that's what it looks like so far. I mean, the entire infrastructure looks like that. I mean, the only thing I want to try to do now is kind of go into here and kind of select this. Actually, right-click move. And just go extract along like this. Extract along like that. Like that. And go into here, free position. Position that there link. that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this and I'm just gonna go into here and go Going to extrude, extrude like that. Right click move, go into left view.
reveal like that. That's what it looks like so far, and the only thing I'm going to go into is going to left view. And just go into here and go hide. Just go CTR click, and that this is a shortcut to um, going into here and sending workbox to selection. It's I think CTR click, which that's another thing what we would do. Like if we were to go into here and select that, send working box to collection right there. It is it, is another form of shortcut in a way, and then you're. You're right, we would go into here and we would start to go CTR. I think we would go into here and go duplicate symmetry. But before we go to duplicate symmetry, we want to make sure that this box plane right here, which is on the X axis box plane, is selected. So, like, that right there. So we want to make sure that the X axis box plane is selected. And then we're just going to go duplicate symmetry and like that. And then what we would do is we would go into here and then there's a, there's a tool we just call reverse polygon normals and we fix the problem like that. Remove duplicated points, merge compiler faces. Our merged compiler faces is what we're going to do. And Reset working box and that's what it does and this is what you would do right here and that's what you do And that's how you get the actual thing done pretty much. I mean it's not done yet, so You're right what we would do is after that's done we just go into here and go You're right reveal all And now with this now selected like that, we're going to go into here and send that to a working box right here, which is just a shortcut. You already know how it is done through the other tutorials. We're going to select this. And you're right, we're going to go into here and we're going to go duplicate symmetry like that. Like that. And that's already done like that. And that's usually done like that. And that's what the item looks like. The only thing what we had to do, honestly, to tell you the truth, is start working on the bumper of this car and then after we're done we're going to start working on the bottom of the, the shell that goes underneath this thing 
and work on the side side windows that goes there and that's this would be that would be it with chapter that would be it with chapter bay of this chapter on the car car shell and window body frame of the car so this tutorial is it basically with with i would say chapter nine or so i would say this is like not chapter nine this is tutorial part nine of chapter number one. I hope you liked this tutorial. I think I finished chapter eight basically on other things. So actually no, this is still chap this is still part eight. This is it with part eight of this tutorial on um on basically part I think on part nine, I think we're going to be working on the bumper. We're going to start working on the bumper of the car and getting the bumper done. And then basically um, on chapter 10, we're going to work on the windows, the side windows right there. <coughs> and then basically um, on chapter um, 8, I think. Yeah, I think it's chapter 8. Chapter 8. We're going to start working on the bottom, uh, the bottom of the car and getting the bottom shell done of the car so you don't see the bottom of that. And then basically, um, and then we're going to work on a side view mirror of the, of the car itself on chapter, on chapter, I think, 11 or 12 or so, I think, or whatever that is or so. I'm just going to send this back to reset working box, I think. So I guess that's it with a car, I guess, I think. So I hope you like basically chapter eight. So and that chapter eight, I think part eight of this tutorial. I hope you like part eight of this tutorial and I hope I this has really helped you out a lot. This is basically a Carrara basically car modeling tutorial of this car basically. So that's it with part eight. I hope you enjoy and thank you goodbye. And, and please subscribe and please basically give me likes and keep staying tuned to my tutorial. I hope I can help you out a whole lot. Thank you. Goodbye.